Hey guys, some of the powerful questions that we use in our videos are in these cards. So if you're interested in having more meaningful conversations with the people you love, go to theskindeep.com slash shop and check out all the decks we have available. Thanks and enjoy. How do you describe me to others? <clears throat> I, I think that I usually describe you as, as Laguna Beach girl, <laughs> beach girl, a free spirit and a big heart, intelligent, bright, considerate. I couldn't say perfect because nobody is perfect, but I couldn't ask for anything better in my life. Thank you. I describe you as this man that lives life so big, and even the conversation that we were having in the car today about just living for today and how precious today is, and wise and funny and can't tell jokes. <laughs> um, I make them very short because I don't have a patient for keeping people, yes. uh, you know, tension for two hours to, for a little... For the punchline. For punchline, for, exactly. for stupid finale. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. What are your three favorite memories we share? I think one of my favorite memories is all the trips that we took to Mammoth mm. and all the road trips that we took to Mammoth. I don't know why, I remember one time being on the lift and you and I were turning back and we were looking at it, everything and you said, I wish for you to be able to enjoy this with your, fr with your family when you get older. And I remember then you told me, you should be a teacher. If you're a teacher, you'll have summers and winters off. You'll be able to be with your kids. You didn't listen. I didn't. Hey, there's still time. There's yeah, still time. Do it. I know I might. <clears throat> what experience did I have growing up that you wish you had too? Uh, I basically lost on my childhood. Yep. Till, the, till I arrived to Israel at the age of 13, after eighth grade, I, I were always on alert, either because of discrimination or starvation or survival or, or whatever. My mother, for example, five brothers and sisters, only one survived, and so forth. City that I was in, 100,000 Jews, only 1,000 Jews survived. Mm -hmm. So, and, and like I tell Gurevich from Chabad House and other rabbis, if you can convince me that there is God yeah. there, you know, then I'll go for it. But the only thing, uh, the, the, that, that, that I could have uh, had, uh, you know, experience, the one experience that I would want it to be, that I wouldn't have, is the loss of, uh, of this childhood. Yeah. And I remember at the age of 14, when I was accepted in a group society with friends, and somebody brought me in, they say, hey, how come you bring in this old man to this party? I mean, he looks like 20, we're only 14. Because I was, you know, I was so much... So mature. Mature by bad experience, hardly any good one. And, and, I, and I hope that you will have the same way that all our kids, my kids will be that way, that without going through all what I went through, we'll be able to, to have this a feeling of will to live and let live and love and adore everybody and hug everybody. Yep. And that's basically it. Who is asking? Me? <laughs> <laughs> what, what major change would you like to 
have in your life at this time, on a very close future, which we basically talk <laughs> and about it. Um, I think I struggle with too much on my plate. Yeah. Um, there's a part of me that would like to quit my job and throw myself into my creativity and into motherhood. Um, I think I'm not going to make that change right now. But it's, I think, no, I'm OK. I think uh, the balance of motherhood, my relationship, and me. Um, but it's something I've been struggling with for a while. So yeah, there's something that stops me from, so like, I think I live very much like you every day. But I, I think there's something that I don't completely take the leap. So. But I tell you why, <laughs> if I may answer, add to your thing. You are not selfish enough, okay? You're not selfish enough. Only a selfish person would say, hey, I'm important. More important than anything, my kids, my husband, my job. This is what I want to do. The heck with everything. And I'm going to do what I need to do. And the rest of it either falls in or it doesn't. And that's what holds you back if we can. If we can, you, know, you know, we never said that before. I never told you that. No. And, uh, and how do I know that? Yep. <laughs> It's the same conversation we had in the car. <laughs> right, because, yes. uh, because I never put myself up front and, uh, and seen importance of others. If any advice, a little bit selfishness uh, is necessary in life too. That I learned a little bit later. Too late, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Why do you think I am in your life? <laughs> you? <laughs> Me. Mm. Uh, <laughs> for two reasons. Um, with, without knowing my history with my previous marriage and losing the children and meeting your mother and being uh, not only in love, but friendly. Um, I did not want to get married ever. And, uh, and to show off a little bit, I didn't have to get married if I needed women. So, I, but uh, losing, losing your mother, uh, after waiting it was was really really decision of my life and as a result of this i was given a gift of my life that not only keep giving but keep curing me and uh, and calming me and and basically wanted me to to be in a family environment with children and our grandchildren and so forth and so forth so, so you, you, you are, uh, there's a song in Yiddish, and the song says, Shein vidi levune, vidi groise metune. You are beautiful as the moon, and you are my biggest gift of life. So, and uh, you can look it up on YouTube. I know the melody. Shein vidi levune. Da la 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 la. Did you ever hear that song? No, you've never seen it. I'll find it. it. I'll, I'll let you find it.
Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch. If you want to stay up to date with all things Skin Deep related, go to theskindeep.com slash subscribe to join our community. We'd love to have you. Thanks.